yet had been a uh, brand known host in she could shoot me in but I'm a patient's team can I just check my national my name is Brian Roanhorse and welcome to my YouTube page thank you for watching this video I wasn't really sure what it was going to be got this post from from Instagram Skylar Low underscore underscore thank you Skylar Low for this post well I just wanted to say hello to everyone that's listening just a quick background on me living in uh, California but I grew up in Arizona and New Mexico been everywhere uh, joined the military when I was 19 recently retired from the military plus 20 years go figure would never would have thought I would have uh, would have this long out like I said it's been an adventure started out 11 Bravo to 11 hotel and back to 11 Bravo um, reclassed to uh, 42 Alpha B class to 25 Bravo. Actually, I went 11 Hotel, which is a tow gunner, B class to 11 Bravo, and then from 11 Bravo, uh, B class to 42 Alpha. Joined the signal unit, and I B class to 25 Bravo, which is uh, information technology. I've been everywhere in the United States, other than the Northwest. I have active duty stations. I've uh, Fort Bragg. Phoenix, St. Louis, Georgia. Deployed Oconus twice, several times in Conus. But yeah, that that's my military background in a nutshell. Went to the Art Institute of Phoenix. In hindsight, I think I would have gone to a different, entirely different university. But uh, the people I've met and the uh, things that, that I've learned and got introduced to in regards to uh, multimedia and animation especially. But as far as the administrative side, Art Institute of Phoenix, no. I was young and you know just wanted to do the right thing and go to school. In hindsight, it was uh, the worst decision I could have made financially. But yeah, uh, got my uh, degree in media arts and animation. I've been drawn since I was a little little kid. Once I got out of the active duty, I, I you know, didn't know what I was going to do. I was like, you know what? It's time to pick up a pencil again. And then once I got there, I thought I was going to be doing a traditional animation or something like that. And, you know, the first courses that they taught was all traditional sketching, figure drawing, perspectives, drafting, like that. But uh, uh, for the most part, traditional animation was, was getting um, replaced with 3D animation. And 3D design, 3D uh, uh, graphic design, stuff like that. Web design. Web design didn't really appease me. I dealt with a lot of coding, and I don't know, it just didn't, didn't appease me. But uh, I remember growing up on the reservation. I used, my mom used to rent uh, local VHS movies from the local Trader Post. And one of them that she brought home one night was uh, Transformers the Movie, which astounded me. It was like the first time I've seen my favorite 80s Saturday morning cartoon characters dying within the first five minutes and there was cussing involved and I was like wow and I was enthralled with the with that movie since since forever. I think I even still had the VHS uh, we ended up buying the VHS tape uh, and I wore that thing out. I watched that thing hundreds of times and I, I still do. So I, I remember, you know, I was like wow, you know what like learn animation. Animation seemed to uh, gain my interest so I decided to get an animation degree. So I started learning Maya, you know, spent uh, a couple years actually uh, being in the military and, you know, 9-11 happening, multiple deployments, it took me a long time to finish my degree. We'll see where this takes me. This program I'm using right here is called uh, Clip Studio. I got Adobe Cloud also, I'm paying a monthly subscription to Adobe Cloud, which gives me, you know, all the nice software toys, Photoshop, After Effects, Premiere. Clip Studio is an illustration program uh, from Japan, and it is so awesome. I'm a comic book artist, which, uh, you know, for the most part, the illustration is still my, uh, my forte. Uh, but anyways, Clip Studio. Um, yeah, I recommend it to anybody who loves to draw. It's easy. It's, uh, well, I shouldn't say easy, but any uh, new software requires, you know, some, uh, uh, requires a learning curve. Uh, it didn't take me that long to just to uh, know the tools and the interface. 
one thing I suggest uh, that you do if you do decide to download Clip Studio is to probably get rid of some of the tools on the interface because it is uh, intimidating when you first open it up and you see all the tools on the left, tools on the right. And I suggest uh, just starting out simple, you know, just get rid of some of the windows and just uh, start drawing and start. I, I watched a lot of uh, YouTube clip tutorials in regards to Clip Studio, so just watch tutorials. A friend of mine advised me to, you know, actually he was watching um, some Twitch. And I was like, what is that? I was like, yeah, there's a bunch of, he was watching a bunch of people playing video games. I'm like, what? You know, I play video games too. I'm a big Battlefield, Battlefield player. Watching him, I was watching him watch uh, someone else play the video game. I'm like, this guy's got like uh, 100,000 viewers and he's, you know, getting paid. And I'm like, what? You getting paid? And he's like, yeah, you get paid. I'm like, hmm. So, you know, I decided, you know, to look into Twitch and, Soon uh, you'll probably be seeing. Uh, I'm gonna try Twitch out. Uh, I'm still gonna try. I'm still gonna do YouTube videos uh, whenever I can. There's a lot of editing involved. Just this video alone, man. Um, I watch a lot of YouTube videos, also tutorials, and there's certain uh, uh, programs that I watch uh, in regards to movies, and music, and podcast, and and I'll, I'm, I'm, right now I'm just doing this for fun. Any, anything uh, more comes out of it then you know mm -hmm. but if not uh, you know this is all just uh, after work uh, passion project like I said you can't uh, at least try it do it and, you know at least you've done it and better than not doing it at all right I want to know um, are there any other natives uh, uh, indigenous first nations people uh, also doing this uh, it's few, very few, far in between. Uh, uh, but I uh, just want uh, to know if there's any more indigenous artists out there that uh, are getting into animation, game design. And, uh, you know, I also do photography, but uh, I'm just uh, an amateur photogra photographer. If you go, I have a Flickr account. If you go to my Flickr, Flickr page, just look up my name, Brian Rohorse. I was National Park Ranger in Bryce Canyon National Park. Shout out to uh, BRCA. I learned a lot from them. Actually, I learned a lot of photography as well at that job. Really. If you ever get a chance to uh, do some hiking or to go on vacation, just, just go to Utah and just, just explore that place. I, I, a lot of the places that I wanted to explore in the Bryce Canyon area, I never had to because it's just it's so big. So, yep. Yeah, um, welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. And uh, I'll let this play out. I'll, I'll be streaming on Twitch pretty soon and trying that out. So, uh, yeah. Thank you very much. Go on that.